means lesson. Appearance of the combination of solid and solid and solid and liquid. Let us take a look at the pictures. We have picture A and picture B. What does picture A shows? Have you ever prepared or bought a cookie? What does it look like? What piece of matter is the chocolate chip? Cookie. For picture B, what does picture B shows? Have you ever prepared milk for yourself? What does it look like? What piece of matter is the powdered milk? Why is it important for children like you to drink milk every day? This time, let's have a game. You have to find it and mix it. Here is the mechanics of the game. There were some materials hidden in the classroom. And to find the exact location of each, first, you need to answer the riddle correctly. Number one. This might have a back and legs, but never has an armpit. But it can come out the arm for something on which you'd sit. Yeah, that's right. That is an armchair. Number two. I am a piece of furniture which is often made of wood. If you need to eat your dinner, sitting at me would be good yes that's correct that is a table number three i am white when i am dirty and green when i am clean very good that is a blackboard let's have another game find it and mix it again you will be divided into three groups. If your group got the correct answer, you will get the materials found in a specific location and proceed in performing the experiments. First, let us have the rules for your group work. Respect one another. Participate in the task assigned. You have to finish the task within the allotted time. Cooperate with the group. And you have to share ideas with others. Experiment time! As I've said, you will be divided into three groups. For group 1, you have the activity 1. Mix us solid and solid mixture. You are going to use the different materials. Raisins, Coca Crunch cereals, nuts, bowl, and spoon. Procedures. Wash your hands thoroughly. Put tablespoons of raisin in a bowl. Put three tablespoons of Coco Crunch cereals. Put one tablespoon of nuts. Mix them all together. After doing your experiment, you are going to answer the guide question. Number one. What do you observe in the finished product? Describe it. Number two. Does the pace of matter change when you mix all the substances together? 
Number 3. Do the size and color of each substance change? Let's move on to group 2. A mixable solid liquid mixture. You can also use the different materials. One sachet of fruit juice, any flavor. We will be needing one liter of water, pitcher, glass, and spoon. You are going to follow the procedures. Wash your hands thoroughly. Fill a pitcher with one liter of water. Fill the glass with water. Pour the powder juice into a glass. Then stir evenly using a spoon. Then when the juice powder is already dissolved, put the mixture in a pitcher of water. Just like group 1, so group 2 will answer also the guide questions. Number 1. What do you observe in the finished product? Can you also describe to it? Number 2. Does the pace of matter change when you mix all the substances together? Number 3. Do the size and color of each substance change? Then group 3 will also do the activity 3. Mix it a health of living. Solid, liquid mixture. We will be needing the different materials. Mung or mongo beans. Water, a jar glass, and a spoon. Follow also the procedures. Wash your hands thoroughly. You are going to put 5 tablespoons of mung beans on a jar glass and fill the jar glass with water. Answer also the guide questions. Number 1. What do you observe in the finished product? Describe to it. Does the pace of matter change when you mix all the substances together? Number 3. Do the size and color of each substance change? After doing your experiment, we will proceed to group reporting. So each group will present their answers. To understand fully our lesson, so let us define mixture. Mixtures are the combination of two or more substances in indefinite proportions. A mixture can come in any form. It may be solid, liquid, or in a gaseous form. For activity one, your activity is all about the combination of solid to solid substances. So when two or more solid substances are being mixed, the result will always be in a solid form. Then group two, the answer group or activity two, the mixture of powder juice and water. So powder juice dissolves in water because it has small particles that are weak enough to be broken by water. The mixture carried out the color of the powdered juice. In some situations, when we combine solid to liquid substance, it will form to a single phase of matter, particularly liquid. Then, group 3. They are done doing activity 3. The combination of mung beans and water. The mung beans do not dissolve in water. Rather, they settle to the bottom of the container. So after doing such activities, 
Let us move on to the following questions. Have you ever been in a party? If yes, what recipes or food do you always see there? Then how would you describe their appearances? Let us have again a group activity. You will be divided again into two groups. One, you're going to do activity one. So give at least three names of food that are always being served in a party. This food must be a combination of two or more solid substances. Then after writing its name, describe its appearance and taste in not more than three minutes. Then group two, you will have activity two. Give at least three names of food that are always being served in a party. This food must be a combination of solid and liquid substances. Then after writing its name, describe its appearance and taste in not more than three sentences. So again, what is a mixture? Are the mixtures the same? How do they differ from one another? Why is it important to know and familiarize the different characteristics of each mixture? How would you describe the appearance of solid and solid mixture and solid and liquid mixture? Now, kindly get your paper and pen. You are going to answer the following. Describe the appearance of the following mixtures. Number one, test one. Noodles in a bowl. Number two, glass of iced tea juice. Number three, cup of coffee. Number four, sand with water mixed. Five, hot dog bun. For test two, list down five mixtures that you can see around the school or home. Then describe the appearances of those mixtures in not more than three sentences. For our next activity, you are going to bring the following materials for the next activity. So you will be divided into two groups. And group one will bring the following materials. One empty bottle. One half cup of oil. And one half cup of water. For group two, one empty bottle, one half cup of vinegar, and one half cup of water. 